welcome back to my channel and today there's going to be something special oh yeah so if you've been with me for a while now you know that i am a total nerd not just a writer and a specific type of nerd an anime nerd not only do i love to watch anime and read manga but i also love to cosplay there's there's my cosplay collection right here yeah uh this is attack on titan my hero academia lots of dresses oh yeah and for the longest time i've been wanting to put cosplay and writing in books or something like that together where i could do more nerdy stuff on this channel and it still be relevant. So my big brain has come up with something awesome. So here's the first episode of Book Character Cosplay or whatever I decided to call this mini series of sorts. And with the first episode I wanted to do a special character from one of my favorite series of all times but since I don't have a robot arm or anything like that I'm gonna wait a little bit and figure that part out and I'm gonna go with my second favorite character from the series. So today I'm going to attempt to cosplay Scarlet Bonoir from the Lunar Chronicles. Specifically when she shows up in Scarlet Book 2. And not later in the series because things happen. Oh my goodness. So if you haven't read that series or at least listened to the audiobook, please go do so now. It is spectacular and oh my goodness. Of course, I'm also going to put a slight twist on this because I'm trying to save money now for other certain things and all that. So instead of just going out and buying a lot of things to cosplay her, I'm going to try to get most of it from my closet and then take what I don't have and try to find it as cheap as possible or borrow from someone or something like that. So not only is this like cosplaying a book character, but I'm also doing it on the cheap. So let's see what I can do with the stuff already in my closet. Okay, so I am looking on lunarchronicles.fandom.com to get exactly what I need for Scarlet Bonoir. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff, don't want to spoil anything, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Okay, characteristics, physical attributes. Scarlet is curvy. Check. Five foot six. Not check, I'm only five foot, but that's okay. <laughs> she has big brown eyes. Check. Full lips. Somewhat. Curly, unruly, ginger red hair. I have a wig for that. Sort of. It's not ginger, it's just red. Dark red. To her mid back. Okay. Uh -huh. Mine isn't curly though. That's okay, that's okay. Lots of freckles on her face. Check. Usually wears a red hoodie with a black tank top underneath. Torn jeans and tennis shoes. Check, 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 sort of. Red hoodie was given to her by her grandmother and clashes with her hair, which is part of the reason she likes it. Awesome. So, I do have the red hoodie, but it has words on it, um, which aren't, you know, they're not bad words. So if I absolutely have to do that, have to wear that particular one because I can't find any, like, really cheap ones anywhere else, I will do that. But hopefully I can go into town and just find a red hoodie that I could use at Goodwill or someplace. So that's what I'm gonna do. Guess who's here? It's Tifa! <laughs> In Wonderland. Yeah! <laughs> so we're gonna go into Goodwill and I'm gonna see if I can find a, you know, hoodie that matches Scarlet's. And if not, I'll, I'll just use my hoodie. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find clothes. Yeah. Here we go. She's intrigued by the shoe. I mean, if they fit, I might uh, get them because they're four dollars. Velvet and leather and <laughs> velvet and leather, plastic and all over. The foot. Do they fit? Oh, oh, so close. No, oh, no, they don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this is why you try on shoes before you buy them. <laughs> are those better than your velvet shoes? <laughs> I don't know. Those are some wedges, man.
Okay. <laughs> so I've gotten Liz into makeup. And Yay. I'm trying to teach her how to do it. So I made her buy the eyeliner that I wear. And now I'm trying to teach her how to do eyeliner. And she has been sitting here for like three minutes trying to map you out. You were eating. <laughs> That's partially on you. She's trying to map out how she's going to do it. So here are the results. Like that, right? Yep. Not like that, but like that. Yep. Okay. <laughs> if I'd known we were going for this number, I would have waited to do my eyeliner to show you how I do mine. Is it even? Uh, yes. <laughs> so, part of the problem with your other eye is that you drew it up a little higher than your lash line. So if you can get closer to your lash line, yeah, and then kind of, nope, this one, mm -hmm. the one you just did. Yep, so fill it in closer to your lash line. I think that looks good. Cool. What do you think? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know makeup. <laughs> mm. Because, of course, I see all the swishies and all that. I know. And it's probably because I do more dramatic eyeliner that I don't know how to help you. Yeah. We're at the mall. And there's this, like, just random partial field that really doesn't have anything. So, we're taking pictures here. She lives in a field, <laughs> basically. And I'm so hot. I have layers on. Mm. Ready? Okay. Yeah. real sweet and nice and she was trying to help me learn how to pose better when has anybody ever described me as sweet and nice i just did right now Not she's really. also miss sassy but you know i'm used to that i think i sweat off half my makeup out there it's it's 87 degrees but i was in the sun and and it's high noon yeah in in a sweat she uh, yeah, and in the book, I'm pretty sure it's like fall or something, and she's wearing a hoodie. But she always wears a hoodie, so. Why didn't you do this or pick a summer character? Because this was the easiest character right now. Okay. <laughs> That's my excuse. I think I'm redder than what I was. But anyways, yes, we're done. I'm going to go process those pictures now. <laughs> See how terrible I look. <laughs> So that was such a fun cosplay to do, um, and even though I couldn't find a red hoodie that was cheap enough and also not, you know, didn't have anything on it, I, you know, I still had fun. Uh, and you know, Scarlett is French, so maybe she would have something like that on her hoodie because the French have a lot of Catholics and, you know, all that. She even visits a church in the book so you know mm, okay i'm fudging it but still but still it, it, it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad um the wig only thing i had and that's all right you know you don't necessarily need exactly everything for a cosplay especially if it's going to be a closet cosplay which is you know pull from your closet so um yeah now actually taking pictures, that was, oh my gosh. I don't know how to pose for pictures exactly, you know, so I'm not just like, oh, look at me. And, you know, as Tifa puts it, my face freezes. Like I give her murder eyes sometimes, but the rest of my face freezes. I don't know if that's me just protecting myself against all the odds or, you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, so I do that. So hopefully I can improve on that. Whoops. Besides that though, it was super hot outside. It was, oh, oh, especially with the hoodie on. So would I do this again? Yes, I probably would because I love cosplaying. I love trying to be creative and all that. And it would be really cool to see a lot more cosplays from my favorite books, even if they're not spot on and all that. But you know, that's the cool thing about cosplay. They don't have to be exact. And it's more about you being creative and saying, hmm, how can I make this costume 
look like this picture and come to life? You know, what things can I do to make that armor or to, to make those scars or, you know, to make that, you know, spicy character come to life? So, and of course it is harder with things like books because you're just going based on the book. So there isn't, you know, there isn't a guide with a picture unless a picture is drawn. And I do know there's been an update to the covers of the Lunar Chronicles, but, you know, I do like them. It's just, you know, they're not what I fell in love with. So maybe it's th that's just me. And I thought Winter was going to have white hair and not black hair. So, you know, that's another thing. But all in all, yeah, I would probably do this again. Uh, if you have a favorite book character you would want me to cosplay or just a book series that you're like, hey, you've done this, you know, drop it down below. I have read How's Moving Castle. Uh, it is a movie as well, so I don't want to cheat, but, but I might do that. That's another redhead. Maybe I should invest in a red wig because it seems like a lot of these characters are like have red hair. You know, if you didn't know, Sophie from How's Moving Castle actually has red hair in the book, not brown, so just saying. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. I did as well. If you have a favorite book or a favorite character that you'd like to cosplay yourself or you want me to try to attempt, I'll try. <laughs> Please down below in the comments say something about it. I love reading comments and I love like just interacting with y'all. It's, it's fun. Right now I don't have a community section here on YouTube because you know I'm not that super famous yet. Yet. And if you have some book character cosplays of your own, let me see them. Like, just leave a link, so that'd be really cool. And with that said, I'll see y'all later, alligators. Bye-bye! So today I'm going to attempt to cosplay Scarlett Bonoir from... Oh, what is it? Not the Cinder series. Uh... Lunar Chronicles.